<laughs> okay. We are doing figs today. I have really not done it up to this point because you don't see them a lot at very many markets and then they don't have a lot of variety. But I finally got three different varieties to compare. Um, this one is going to have a lot of caveats and asterisks on it because, you know, first of all, figs are a little bit more, as I understand it, a little bit more, they're not as good um, unless they're super fresh and then they don't last as long when they're super fresh. So if you see it at a market at all, then it's going to be... It's a, it's a... It's going to be one of those things that are picked early and therefore small and therefore doesn't have as developed flavors. It's, so if you it's see that, it, buy it, eat it same day. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Um, and the best ones are probably going to be at like a street farmer's market sort of deal. Um, but what we have are... The varieties we have are Black Mission. And they're not huge, but... Color leads me to believe that they're mostly developed. Hopefully we're going to get some good flavor profiles out from these. And then we have one that I haven't heard of, but I'm sure all the fig aficionados are going to be screaming. Um, this is called a Calamirna, and they are very much a different color from the Black Mission. They are greenish, yellowish. And then, just to round it out a little bit more, we have some dried figs. These are Turkish figs. So, They're organic. Yeah, organic. <laughs> wow. So we're going to get the dried perspective too. <laughs> um, we are growing a couple varieties in the garden. Um, they are not quite, oh, I can already smell those dried ones. Yes. <laughs> Strong. They just smell yeah. hot in <laughs> um, we're growing a couple varieties. One is unknown because I've planted it from a cutting from a local tree. The other one... Is that the one where you just took just the falling fruit thing? Yeah, I went on fallingfruit.org, found a local fig tree that, and just, that I could take cuttings from and then use that to plant. <laughs> just grabbed a branch and called it. And the other one, the other name is escaping me. I'll, I might put it in the, the description. Um, anyway, let's get to it. Yeah, sorry, I kind of started. I took <laughs> off the stem before we were ready. That's okay. Look, and, it's getting all milky. Yeah, these ones have that like sappiness, which you don't want to eat. I don't want to eat the sap. No, because I think it's like latex. Oh yeah, yeah, just like the jackfruit. Yeah. Ah. Wow, those are very soft. They are. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Big hoops. So, like I was saying, I wasn't sure how developed the flavors were going to be. Because, A, we got this as a, at a grocery store. So, it was probably picked before its prime. And then B, they're small, but this has a really nice flavor. So I can only imagine that like a more developed fruit probably has an incredible flavor. Well, this one's bruised, but sweeter. Uh, that one has some really good color. 
You're delicious. Yeah. Wow. So I remember maybe a year back we got some really tiny figs from Sprouts. Mm -hmm. I got stuff on my face. You got stuff on your tooth. I can feel that. Your singular front tooth. So we got really tiny ones, even smaller than this from Sprouts, and they were definitely underdeveloped. Because like you could see the, the dark yeah, color. Weren't were they dry as hell? They may have been, but they weren't even totally um, uh, black yet. They were still green in places, so they were obviously picked like really small. And like the texture was there, but the flavor was like barely present. But these are really good. I'm impressed. So I look forward to trying some more. That's a, that's a bigger one. They get bigger than this. I've seen like palm sized figs. Well, uh, you're, doing, you're doing great. I don't know, No. <laughs> <laughs> So Black Mission, as I understand it, is like one of the really big flavors in figs. It's like one of the most popular ones. I get it. So, yep. Sweet, blue. Now that we have that as our baseline, let's try this um, Alamerna. This one's our song too. So how, wait, how would you describe that flavor? Obviously, I think most people know what figs taste like. Well, if you've had fig newtons. If you've had fig newtons or fig bars, then this is gonna taste pretty much like that. Um, but not, not dry. It, yeah, more moist and fresh tasting. And we had these refrigerated, so they they taste kind of crisp and refreshing. It's like if a blueberry was extra sweet, but you have to get through yeah. the texture if you're yeah. a texture eater. <laughs> if you don't like texture, don't eat it. Okay. Because some people are really weird about texture. Yeah. Let's see how these taste. Yeah, So, initial hot take reaction, the skin is um, thicker on these, it's kind of sandpapery, but it has like a lighter, different um, flavor that I like, I like this. It's lighter and less sweet. Yeah, this is a, like, it's a very good contrast, I think, to the black mission. Ooh. Similar color to slider. This will be good with brie cheese. Mm -hmm. This will be good with goat cheese. Okay. That's delicious. Wow. Great, now I want a cheese board. <laughs> Casey, where are my saltines? This one, this one feels like it's underdeveloped. Still good. But the outside and the inside are still kind of firm. Really firm, actually. So the next one you grab, just make sure it's squishy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're leaving like basically all of it. Just try not to eat the stem. <laughs> Wait, scrape it with your teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> to eat your food. <laughs> Here, have some dirt. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> that was me with uh, one of those black missions. This was like exploding in my face. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one. Really juicy. And it's, it doesn't taste like the fig you would know from a fig you knew. Like the Black Mission pretty much tastes like that, but better. This one, it's like a lighter taste. Delicious. Wow. Are you ready for dry figs? Yeah, let's try the dry figs. They open up the same. Oh, it didn't. Yeah. So these are these are Turkish figs. I'm not sure um, if we'll be able to really tell what makes them different from the others because they're dried. Let's that see. never hurt. Again, these are Turkish sticks. Oh. It's got Fig Newton texture. Does that? Yeah. Oh, it does. Hell yeah. It <laughs> does. Me. It's like a Fig Newton without the Newton. <laughs> mean I don't have to replace all the fig bars that I ate that you bought? No, you still have to replace those. Pay $20 for all those fig bars. You ate all of them. Well, see, the only reason I found those is because I went looking for fig bars and found the dried figs instead. So, it still, worked out. No, you still have to buy the fig newtons. <laughs> I'll buy them. I, more of those. I expect twenty dollars worth of Big Newtons. Right. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think so far? That they're all delicious. They are all delicious. I I think I'm picking up what kind of flavor profiles the Turkish is. Putting down. It's literally just a fig bar. Yeah. It has that texture. It has a flavor. She's chewy. Yeah. You know what? This reminds me of um. You know the fruit strips. Yeah. These taste like that. Like it's not quite um, Big Newton, but it tastes like the the strips. The fancy people fruit mm -hmm. strips. Fruit leather. That's what fruit it is. leather. <laughs> the original flavor. Yeah, these are like fruit snacks right here. Ooh, this and dried dates. Yeah, I still. Come holiday season, we'll do a date tasting video because there'll be sample platters. So there's the inside of the dried Turkish fig. It looks gross. It does look gross. <laughs> it looks like an alien. <laughs> but it's delicious. What's good? If you don't like texture, don't eat it. So what do you think, favorites? All of them? Yeah, I'm kind of with you there. I think it's because we just like figs. Or like we like fig newtons, and mm -hmm. so we assume that we're going to like the fig. Yeah. Because we like it's the newton. Like had these flavor profiles before, but taken together is a really new experience having fresh ones. Because I'm used to it being in things or and baked with things. And processed. Processed, yes, exactly. So I really like the fresh ones. I'm gonna go for this big, this big uh, black mission and see what it has for me. It's gonna be real sweet. I'm gonna throw away all of our fix pops. Oh yeah. 
Anyway, that's figs. It's the beginning of my fig journey. <laughs> I knew that I would like them, so that's why I've gone ahead and been working on growing some trees. And what, what would be nice is to, like I was saying, go to some street farmers markets and get like the really fresh stuff that was like picked that morning or whatever. <laughs> So a bonus here at the end, I have two more varieties of figs. I have a variegated tiger stripe fig, um, also known as a panache fig. I may have butchered that pronunciation, um, but isn't that really cool? They're so neat looking. I'll give it a taste test in a second. And then this green one is from the mother tree that I got my uh, fig cuttings from. I visited it and they had, there were plenty of them. So I took a little handful and I will get to taste test this as well. All right, trying the tiger stripe fig. So these are delicious too. It looks like a jam jelly. It's um, wow. Yeah, it's like much more juicy or it's a hot pocket, but <laughs> Yeah. And you know, fruit is the best way I can describe it. That's delicious though. Wow. Different from the other two or three actually we had. Um, but I'll go in for these, uh, these green ones from our local tree next. Here's the inside. I'll give it the taste test. Hmm. All right. It's much more subtle. Um, similar to the, um, the Calamurna. Um, but a bit more subtle, I think. It's still delicious. Wow. Okay, this one, this one must have been more developed because this one is like juicy and jelly-like, like this other one we just had. Here, point it correctly. There's the inside. It's, uh, of course it won't focus, but it's similar to that other one. So it's still a lighter flavor, but it's um pretty rich. Not strong like uh, the Black Mission was, but a definitely a uh, really good fig taste. So now, now that I've gotten to try this, I know what to look forward to. Um, with uh, my tree that I grew from a cutting from this mother tree. <laughs> so that's exciting. I'll, now that I know they're a green variety, I'm going to try and narrow down the name of it a little bit more. Um, but these are delicious, so I'm looking forward to them when that tree does start producing. <laughs>